how are you? Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Coach Eli, coming to you live from Maryland. I hope you guys are having a very wonderful evening. Um, it's Today is Friday. Um, I think it's the last Friday of the month, actually. And I'm excited about what August have to bring. I hope you guys are planning and thinking strategically on how to put everything together for your business, all right? And I want you to start to think on how to work on your business to not necessarily be that one that works in the business. Remember that you're a boss and you have to start to think and carry yourself as a boss. So today's topic that I wanna go over all today's business tip is um, the requirements that you need to have in order for you to be able to offer drug testing. Um, as you already know, drug testing is one of our um, top top um service on the list right um in this business in this industry the diagnostic business right um diagnostic testing business we offer so many types of services also many types of testing services right and one of the th ones that we all tend to gravitate to is drug testing so i am on here today to provide clarity to help you understand everything that you need um to offer drug testing services so come with me all right so the number one requirement for you to offer drug testing is um, to be certified but before I dive into the certification process I want you to know that we have two types well let me say this we have three types of drug testing remember I am that girl that would bring everything to you without filter um, not just even without filter I guess they don't know but let me tell you, it is three types. And let me break it down for you. Um, one is the DOT, the DOT drug test, which is the one that is federal and it's regulated. DOT simply is the Department of Transportation. Before you can test for their drivers, before you can collect assessment on their drivers or so all of the agencies that belongs to Department of Transportation, you do have to be certified because DOT regulates and wants you to do their drug testing in a certain way. All right. The second is the non-DOT, which are the agencies that are not with the Department of Transportation, right? And you can go ahead and test. It don't matter. Um, for DOT, you have to stick to the guidelines, which is five panel, split collection, lab based with an MRO, right? Remember, take notes. Don't forget. All right. So by the time that you're choosing your coach or your mentor, make sure you ask them all of these questions. Are you going to assist me with getting all of this? All right. Then the second, like I said, is non-DOT. Um, it's not regulated, so you can you can test as more than as far as it, twenty panels. Okay. In drug testing, we test by panel. Five panel is the list. Well, two THC and cocaine. We have two. We have five. We have seven. We have nine. We have twelve. We have eighteen. We have twenty, and so on and so forth. Um, non DOT is not regulated, so the employer, whoever is ordering that test, can test more than um, five panel. And it could be single, and it could be split. It does not matter. All right. And the third, which a lot do not discuss, you're going to find that information only on this channel only on this in this channel all right so and that's um uh what is that called the point of care rapid drug test you can offer rapid drug test as well um in my business i offer all the three you want to guess the one that is the most lucrative the one that is the most lucrative is the point of care rapid drug test you can actually make cool cash because you're going to cut out the middleman and you keep all that money without you drug planning or your, without you sending out your specimens to the um to the lab you do your point of care you keep all your money however um the most one in demand is the dot and that is because every trucking every owner operator every dot every agency um that belongs to the dot they need to be tested because it is part of their regulations and requirement that's the one that is in demand and that is the reason why we all have to be certified and that's the one that is most common but the most lucrative is the rapid point of care 
um let me quickly dive into that so um the rapid of care you would need your clear because we, you cannot just go ahead and collect human specimen um, without being guided and licensed to do that you would need to obtain your clear and that goes through your state so make sure you reach it read and be acquired acquainted with your state requirement um in order before you can submit your clear application all right that's drug testing those are the three types of drug testing that we have and now um in order for you to offer that services as an addition uh, in part of your diagnostic lab testing you would need to take the certification course certification as far as you learning the cfr 49 part 40 regulations assisting you um to allow allow you understand how to do drug testing because in in drug testing there are problems there are situations that occur some people cannot give you enough specimens some people have shy bladder some people come in and they try to cheat the test what will you do in all of those situations all those scenarios so you have to take that course it's called dot specimen collector course all right once you have that the first is two parts that falls into categories the one where they're going to teach you all of the requirements and you come back the second part is to do your mock um mock meaning that you're coming back to show competency demonstrating competence and telling your instructor hey i know how to do drug testing all of the problem the five scenarios i can solve them once you complete that you'll get your certification when you complete that part right then you will go ahead to reach out to lab because lab dot is regulated dot wants you to take that specimen give it to a lab you cannot stay in house and run that specimen and give results it's not allowed but for non dot you can do that right um so you would have to set up an account with any um reference lab that's the lab that that's what we call them they are reference labs such as quest i know you all know quest um lab core aliri um metax um we have crl we have um med elite is many of them i can go on and on right we then reach out and set up a reference um a lab account with a reference lab be mindful these days these reference labs are um declining application um they're looking for business queries so one of the things that i want you to take care of before you even venture into this business is to have your business credits um, make sure you look into your business credits. Your personal credits has a lot and a long way to go with your business credit. And that is because business does not operate itself. It is run by someone, right? It is run by you. So you have to take care of your personal credit. If you don't have a good credit, I recommend that you clean up and clear your credits um, before you can start to reach out to this class because there, are, there is tendency that they might reject your application. And you can't do DOT drug test without having a lab account. So that's the reason why you have to work on your business credit and as well as um, so that you can facilitate all of this partnership. Remember in this industry, every Everything that we do has to come uh, comes with collaboration so I always the way that I teach my students is that we start to talk about the business credits in the beginning then we start to talk about how we want to look professional we talk about professional emails we talk about professionalism with even our websites looking top-notch right so by the time that you reach out to them they would not have any issues to um definitely work with you so that's everything that i want to share as you can see these little boys are behind and trying to mess up my videos i don't want that to happen so i would definitely reconnect with you guys make sure that you're subscribed and you connect um share like and um subscribe because i will be coming on to drop more tips on all the services and how you can get started with those services and if you're looking for hands on experience help with um guidance and to start your um business your um diagnostic lab testing business you can reach out to me just head on to my website official coach eli go through the course session scroll down you will see um everything the package what comes with my mentorship program all right um very affordable we are going to be there for five weeks you and i will meet um one-on-one -on -one to make sure everything is um set up for you uh, we anticipate that at the end of that mentorship program you're on your way to success so um again you can reach me on my email via email or through my website all of our contact is been listed um i i will talk to you again i have to go and it's again your girl coach eli coming to your life from maryland bye for now